The man who owns the Myrtle Beach indoor shooting range was a consultant to help Horry County write an ordinance for regulating outdoor ranges. Ted Gregg says outdoor gun ranges can be a boom for sports tourism on the Grand Strand. The shooting industry has traveling participants in, in uh, shooting just like you do in golf. It's an extremely volatile and wide open market. We're very fortunate to be a part of it. County Council started working on a shooting range ordinance a year ago after getting a number of requests from people who wanted to open one. The end result is a law that sets up building standards and zoning limitations so gun enthusiasts can have a place to shoot safely besides their backyards. It pulls everything together uh, so that it can be done properly and it can be as, as least nuisance to the public as possible. County Councilman Bob Drabowski works for PTR Industries, the new firearms manufacturer in Horry County. PTR has a bullet trap for testing weapons indoors, but Grabowski says an outdoor range would be appealing for his company and for others. I think that anything we can do, such as a gun range, will make us even that much more attractive to uh, people in that industry. Two potential locations are being considered for public county-owned ranges, including right behind PTR's building near Ainer. But no matter where they end up, Greg says people will want to use outdoor ranges in Horry County. Weather's perfect. You couldn't ask for better weather. The, uh, the people are favorable with it, and the industry is good here.